is up everyone? It is Rachel. Welcome back to my channel. And so today's video is super exciting because of my experience as an undergraduate external admissions reader for UC Berkeley. Today we are going to be talking about what UC Berkeley admissions readers look for when reviewing college applications. So if you're new to my channel, hello, my name is Rachel. I graduated from UC Berkeley in the class of 2020 where I double majored in cognitive science and legal studies and now I'm currently working full-time at a law firm and last college admission cycle I was an external undergraduate admissions reader with UC Berkeley. So if you're a student applying to colleges soon you should definitely check out Study Hall College Consulting. It's a team of myself and other UC Berkeley grads where we specialize in reviewing college application essays as well as consulting one-on-one -on -one with students students and parents. So let's get into this video. So some background information. The UC schools are not on the Common App, but you need to make a separate account on the UC application portal. I highly, highly recommend checking out the UC admissions site if you're applying to any of the UC schools, so Berkeley, UCLA, UC Davis, because on these websites they have freshman and transfer admissions, and for each UC, it goes a little bit into how each college reviews applications and what they're looking for. So for this video, I'm going to talk a little bit about what the Berkeley admissions page advertises as how they review applications, while also giving some of my input and experience as an external undergraduate admissions reader. I'm mainly going to talk about what is publicly available on the website if you wanted to chat specifically about your application and how you can improve your application, how Berkeley would review your application, I definitely recommend checking out Study Hall College Consulting. So UC Berkeley, like a lot of other colleges, does use holistic review when looking at college applications. This means that Berkeley not only looks at your academic factors when considering admission, but they also look at non-academic factors as well. Where academic factors that would typically include your grades, the kinds of classes you're taking, the rigor of the classes you're taking, and then these non-academic factors would be everything outside of the classroom, the activities you're involved in, the things that you're doing in your free time, attributes that you have as a student, as a person, and what you can bring to the college campus. So the first bullet says the applicant's full record of achievement in college practice preparatory work in high school, including the number and rigor of courses taken and grades earned in those courses. So this would fall under that academic factor, your classes, the rigor. If you haven't seen my video about what admissions readers see when they are looking at your college apps, highly recommend that video. I will have it linked down below. And one of the main pages, main factors that we would see and look at when reviewing college apps would be your grades grades in your high school classes. And so for the UC, for Berkeley, you are self-reporting your grades. You would type in yourself all classes that you've taken, denoting them as honors, advanced, or AP classes, and then inputting your grades for 9th, 10th, and 11th grade. For 12th grade, you would be self-reporting the classes you are intending to take or have started to take. Maybe you don't have any grades yet. That is okay. You would mark those classes as in progress, and that is something really important. You don't want to not report your 12th grade classes, even if you have no grades and these are just the classes you've signed up for, because leaving it blank is not good. So when filling out your application, taking the time to put all your grades in, put your classes in, put the correct class level in, is very, very important because that is something that the admissions readers are specifically looking for. 
The next bullets say personal qualities of the applicant, including leadership ability, character, motivation, insight, tenacity, initiative, originality, intellectual independence, responsibility, maturity, and demonstrated concerns for others and for the community are considered. This bullet point is very, very, very important along with the next bullet point, which says likely contributions to the intellectual and cultural cultural vitality of the campus. In addition to a broad range of intellectual interests and achievements, admissions readers seek diversity in personal background and experience. So these two points combined are basically saying similar things and I would say are a main part of how admissions readers review your app. Because you know, at the end of the day, grades are grades, scores are scores, a lot of students applying are going to have good grades, having A's and B's, they're going to be taking a lot of advanced courses, so students can look very very similar if you're just looking at grades and classes taken, so focusing on these two bullet points when writing your PIQs, when inputting your activity section, thinking about the overall story that you want to tell through your application, this is where I believe you can start to stand out as an applicant because your essays and activities are what can differentiate you from everyone else applying. And with this first bullet point specifically, these are great personal attributes to consider when you are writing your application essays. Things like demonstrating leadership, demonstrating originality, demonstrating care and concern for others. I would highly recommend thinking about these attributes as well as seeing which characteristics apply to you and how you can demonstrate these characteristics through your essays so you can share these personal qualities with the admissions reader, admissions team. And that's not to say, okay, there's a UC PIQ that is revolved around creativity. Just writing a PIQ about creativity is not sufficient enough for the admissions reader to give you a, like, check, yes, this person is creative, but you really need to delve deeper into demonstrating these qualities that you possess and would bring to a college campus. With this, I would recommend checking out my common college application essay ideas video because that can hopefully be helpful with some writing tips, writing ideas for your essays, and how you can stand out with your essays. So for Berkeley specifically as an external admissions reader, we are looking to identify similar qualities in the applicant as this list. So it is helpful to keep these in mind when drafting your application materials because as this website says, it is part of holistic review. And from my experience, experience, these two bullet points, definitely very, very important. The next bullet says achievement in academic enrichment programs, including but not limited to those sponsored by the University of California, is measured by time and depth of participation, by the academic progress made by the applicant during that participation, and the intellectual rigor of the particular program. So for this point, I would say a lot of students might not necessarily have participated in academic enrichment programs, but if you have, then these characteristics are something to think about. But if you haven't, then looking at factors like the time and depth of participation, these are also important factors to consider when filling out your activity section. So that can be useful when describing your extracurricular activities, you don't want to just be participating for something in one year by demonstrating you've been in this activity four years, four plus years, and you've held leadership positions in the activity that can help to demonstrate leadership, time and depth of participation without actually having to spell out, hey, I'm a leader because I was the team captain of a sport. Because space is so limited on your college application, you really need to be mindful and precise precise in how you are writing your UCPIQs and how you are describing your activities in the activities section. And I'm going to do a whole video on activity section advice, so stay tuned for that. Next bullet says, other evidence of achievement. This criterion recognizes exemplary, sustained achievement in any field of intellectual or creative endeavor. Accomplishments in extracurricular activities, such as the performing arts or athletics 
athletics, leadership in school or community organizations, employment, and volunteer service. So this point sort of goes along with the academic enrichment programs point, except this one is a little bit more focused on your extracurricular activities. So you could exemplify these factors in your activity section, which is why that activity section is so, so, so important. And you can also exemplify these factors within your PIQs. You know, if you've done something super amazing in an extracurricular activity, then you would include that on your activity section, but you also may consider including that information in a PIQ to delve more into detail about that activity. And then the last bullet says race, ethnicity, gender, and religion are excluded from the criteria. These factors of race, ethnicity, gender, and religion are not something that the admissions reader can even see when they're looking at your college apps. But some students in like their activities or the PIQs may participate in activities that demonstrate race or gender or other factors like this. For example, a lot of students are involved in different cultural organizations at their high school or they might be volunteering at their church. So yeah, these are some of the holistic review characteristics that UC Berkeley admissions readers specifically look for when reviewing your college applications. If you have any questions, definitely leave a comment down below. If you had any college related videos that you wanted to see me do, also leave a comment down below. But yeah, thank you all so, so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Give it a big thumbs up to help me out with the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos from me. Good luck drafting your college application essays and the start of your school year. Bye!